What's up guys, this is going to be a new series for new players that are coming into the game because I do notice that new players are still coming and there's a lot of them. Well, this series is going to be about all the essential things that you need for yourself. I have, um, I have like three videos ideas about these, so I see if I can get more, you guys can provide me more on the comments, see what you need and all that jazz but really this first episode is going to be about which units to go for and which ones are doing high damage high amount of um sba all that jazz all that stuff and which units to evolve all right here we go the first unit to go for is usopp why usopp is because usopp does the amount the most amount of damage unevolved does typically around a hundred thousand damage and he does hit both airs and ground so he does a lot of damage and he's a good boss killer he's a really good boss killer because all he has are these plants that he plants down like landmines but they're plants the you plant them on the floor on the ground and then he has a ground maybe i think seven i believe and it can deal all that damage all at once so it'd be 700,000 damage going into one character all at once if they run over it and that's typically the the best unit in the game for starting characters and it's just typically the best unit in the game ever because he does the most amount of damage evolved and in evolved and he's just going to be meta for like basically forever because how much he does and how much he deals to like bosses and regular units like that and he's a good like back character backup character right so the other units that i'm going to tell you about are the units that you should go for that are unevolved and do massive damage because i'm pretty sure new players are not going to be able to evolve them immediately so i'm going to tell you the ones that you should go for that are not evolved that do massive damage so the first thing is up are all the new units from the new updates are doing massive damage all the time so any of the new units that you see go for them because those typically have um good units but do wait for when the update comes out do wait for those characters to come out and people have, uh, like grab them and like make them level 100 to see their max damage because there is that one unit as a support or like does not that much damage as the other the rest because there is one unit that is, does run 40k and the other one's doing like 200k or like 100k like 120k so yeah the other characters from the banner that i think you should go for is albedo law luffy fuji Golden Frieza, those typically do a lot of damage at the start unevolved. Griffiths is also a good one, but there's also going to be peop um, units that are not on banner, which are like event units or battle pass units, and those units typically do a lot of damage. And they're more easier to evolve than the banner units, typically, or most of the time. Most of the time, they're the easier, the easier route to uh, evolve and also do massive damage. The battle pass unit base one, you get it for uh, free once you get to, I believe, level 25. If you have the premium one, you get a shiny version, and that shiny version comes with the evolved um, item, and that's a really good way to get a free unit evolved. But that's more if you pay for it or you can trade for it the other way is um the event units the event units are really good if you come at the start of the event if you're more at the end of the event there's not going to be that many people doing the event but there's still going to be enough people for you to join in and possibly get a free unit from the event but at the start of the event it's really good because a lot of people are just going to be dropping portals that typically are the events and those are going to be really good for you at the start because you're just going to get the event now you're just going to do the event with other people they're going to zoom through it because typically the people have uniques or they have really evolved units already and 
yeah that's pretty much all the ways that i know of to get mythical units and that's all the information i can provide for you if you're looking for more information or looking to see if any of your units do also a lot of damage like massive damage um go to the wiki page go to the enemy adventures wiki page it does really good for information about your units and which units do a lot of damage but yeah that's it that's it for the, this video next video is going to be how to get resources like gems fruits rerolls all those how to get them what's the best way to get them and yeah alrighty that's about it so later have a nice one